Hey guys, Doc. So we're over at the farm property, and on this property we have a three acre lake or pond, whatever you want to call it. So let me show you that first. When we first bought this property, um, the drain pipe was a metal drain pipe and it went on down and under the berm and it had corroded and the whole pond was draining. The pond actually drained probably 10, 20 yards past that dock. It was insane. This naturally feeds and fills up from a spring, thank goodness, so it filled back up. Um, next, we went ahead and we put aeration systems in here. So we have two aerators running off one pump. We had a huge duckweed problem. The whole thing was covered with duckweed because we left for two months and there was nothing we could do. And we had a slight fish kill. We treated all that. Everything is good. We still have decent bass. We have an okay bluegill population. We did last week. Let me put up a little clip. I think I got it. Um, we went and we bought just a few hundred bluegill and a hundred bass and we launched them in here. But today I've been debating about a pond pump. And the one I want is about total with shipping and everything is about 2200 bucks. It's a it's an Air Max and it's a great it's a great pond pump. I'm like, dude, I just don't want to spend $2200 on a fountain. So, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to order this little quarter horsepower cheap china thing from Amazon. The reviews say that the welds and the the way that it's made a couple people have had the welds break on it and lose the pump so here's what i did i went ahead and i bought this thing and then on amazon i bought the four year complete warranty for 70 bucks then i used my american express points that i had so this whole thing including a four year warranty cost me about 300 bucks and that's why i'm doing it if I get a couple years out of it, that's fine. Um, but I just don't want to spend $2,100 on a fountain for this place. We're just trying to get a lot more aeration in here. And, you know, we thought it'd be cool to do. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to drag it out. You're supposed to use tethers. We're actually going to put a cement weight on it and just drop it down and put it out about 100 feet off the end of this dock. So uh, lift it up so they can see it. Oh. <laughs> so that's basically what you have here. You have your floating piece right here. And then you have your pump and then there's a hundred foot cord that comes with it and it's not all that heavy we're going to carry it down to the dock ow one-handed i can't turn that way we have to walk straight okay so um i have my electrician coming and he's going to run power out to this so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to unplug the aerator temporarily and we're going to plug this in so let me show you how we did this we have the cord all stretched out and then I have, instead of using, te you're supposed to use tethers to the shore, which to me is pretty stupid. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take a cement block and we're going to drag this out when I get to a point. Because I know my pond, the, the deepest point is six to eight feet. So there it is floating in the water. And uh, I'm going to drag it out there with a kayak. And I'm going to drop it, I think. Spectacles, tentacles, wallet, watch. What did you say? I said it seems like a bad idea. Seems like a bad idea taking the camera out. I'm gonna drag this pump out. Let's see how this works out. I am dragging out that from the dock. Got the cinder block right there. And you're gonna take me out until I hit that dead end of that cord. And uh, we're gonna, that's where we're gonna put it. Oh, that's a good angle right there. <laughs> What's up, Daddy? Daddy, don't fall in the water, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I can't swim, Daddy. I can't save you. Daddy, how deep is that out there, Daddy? You got crocs in there? Yeah. Put the crocodile in here. Man, this water is clear, dude. Electrocute my son. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look at that. Woohoo! Man, that's awesome. That is awesome. That's the perfect size. Any bigger would be too big. I could have my wedding out here, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy, I could get married out here. So there she is. Cost me uh, about 350 bucks. I got a regular warranty with the manufacturer and then on top of that 
the Amazon four year no fault. Doesn't matter what happens to it. If something goes wrong with it, I just show them it. They can't fix it and they'll give me a uh, Amazon gift card to replace it. That's how this works. Very cool. Very cool. If you can. Man, look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? So there she is. <laughs> now we have an aeration system in here, but again, like I said, we just wanted to put a fountain in here because we thought it'd be cool, but I did not want to spend $2,200 on a damn fountain. <sighs> very, very cool. Here's, here's something that Ryan and I were saying. You know, this is a, only a quarter horsepower pump, and I was worried that it would be too small, but you were saying what? It's the perfect size. Anything bigger would have looked out of place over the top. Yeah, it would have looked stupid, you know, like yeah. it would have looked like Taj Mahal or something. It would have looked like the Vegas. Bellagio. <laughs> yeah. So this is actually the perfect size. But man, see, it's so quiet out here anyways. You fall asleep to that. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm back at the house. We're actually over here cutting some grass and doing some work. I got to say, I was really impressed with this pump. I, you know, I rolled the dice on this thing. I didn't want to spend, I wanted, I wanted a fountain in that pond, but I didn't want to spend 2,200 bucks. I just couldn't. And the Air Max systems are really good quality pumps. I'll tell you right now, but I figure for 500 bucks plus $70 for the, for the four year Amazon, no hassle warranty. If anything goes wrong, they can't fix it. They send you a gift card for the replacement price. That's how that works. Uh, four years for 70 bucks. So I figured I'd roll a dice and I gotta say, both Ryan and I were really impressed with this thing. Now this is a quarter horsepower pump. I don't know what the amp, amp draw is on it, but uh, perfect size. Now that's a three acre lake, a three acre pond. And it was, I think, balanced. I think it was the perfect size for it. So I put a description in the link below. There's a page. I'll put a link to the pond, uh, to the pump. And um, I think that's about it. Hit subscribe because I got about eight more videos coming out in the next 10 days. <laughs> Doc.